Wednesday live stream. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I hope that you've had a good day so far, like usual. And today I am blatantly ripping off a already created Lady Death Commission. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I'm ripping it off, but it's my own art. So um, this is a commission. This one is a commission that I did not finish at New York Comic Con. So this layout was done at New York Comic Con 2019, and I was not able to complete it. So um, I'm going to be finishing it up on live with you. And the request was that I recreate this one. Um, and this is a commission I did in 2014 um, for uh, Lady Death um, Vet Ticks, I believe. It was like a, a charity thing where a bunch of different artists did um, pieces that then went up on eBay and all the proceeds went to charity. Thomas, Christian, Jeff, John, River Dragon, hello and welcome to a very roasty toasty live stream. <laughs> I'm dying. My brain is melting. <laughs> So I don't know if you heard, I am ripping off my own art uh, for a commission. Sassy Cat, hi! Welcome to today's stream. Um, so this is a commission. I know I already said this. I am repeating myself. For those of you who are really on it and here at the very beginning, I apologize for the repeat. I am ripping off my own art to do a another commission. So I'm essentially homaging myself, but I'm ripping it off. So, um, <clears throat> no, it's very hot. <laughs> so this is the commission that I did in 2014. I am recreating it here for an art collector. And before anyone worries, I did check with Brian Polito if this was okay to do. Um, I think he thought I was a little bit crazy for asking permission to recreate my own work, but it's Lady Death and I wanted to make sure all was good. <laughs> um, hello Clark! Michael, welcome! <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I put that in the art forgery in the description just for funsies. Um, Alright, so I haven't... Um, I haven't worked on this one since New York Comic Con last year. Um, I honestly forgot that I had done some work on it, uh, so that was a happy surprise. <laughs> um, so yes, this is the where I was at before. Um, I was trying to fix my anatomy issues and Dan says that I lost the sexy in my fixing my anatomy issues. He's like, I don't see anything wrong with this one and you've lost the sexy. So I need to get back at the sexy. <laughs> and I agree with him. I've made it more stiff in my trying to unstiff it. That sounded really bad. All right. We're going to start over on that one. When you're trying to work on fixing anatomy issues and things that maybe aren't correct, what can happen is that, you know, it starts looking a little less fluid, I suppose. <laughs> so anyway, time to get going. I'm probably going to say so many things that are borderline inappropriate. I apologize to everyone. I am very hot in the temperature sense. And <laughs> my brain is not working. <laughs> Tom, hello. I do need to move my studio to the basement. He would mind. <laughs> the basement is his as far as Laura is concerned. But yeah, I went, I took my, um, <laughs> I know David. It's very wrong. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's so hot. <laughs> Steve, hello. Welcome to a roasty toasty Wednesday. 
<laughs> I was trying to unstiffen things this is the best thing you heard all day. I love that you guys have such a great sense of humor. You guys are the best. Craig, oh my goodness, hello. I hope you're not staying up too late for us to say hello. Russell, hi, welcome to the stream. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Okay, we have like one or two days in the Canadian North Pole regions that is relatively warm. It was 90 degrees in my house yesterday. Bummer. Noel, hello, welcome to the stream. Cade, welcome, hi. All right, so, um, I'm recreating this commission I did f six years ago. I'm trying to fix some things I would like to fix. And then I am working on putting in all the detail because I used to <laughs> really go for my life with the detail. This is the kind of detail I would generally save for a cover now. <laughs> yes, very hot. It's been super warm in Portland. Sorry, Savannah. 45 in Phoenix. Oh my God. I know I can't complain, Tom. I know. I am such a whiner. But it's very hot for me. <laughs> you know what? I might wheel my chair over and put the fan on the chair so it can at least be blowing on my person. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you, Ian. I hope to be able to see you at Fan Expo 2021 as well. That would be glorious. Okay, hold please. I'm gonna do a little uh, rigging to, to cool it down in here. I did have a very big fan going in my room, uh, but it sounds like I'm in an airport. So I don't think I could have that going while I'm live, uh, but I'm gonna try something else. Geraldo, Thomas, Blair, hello. The window is over here. So what I'm gonna do is just put the fan on myself. Since I'm the only person in here and I can be all selfish like that. I do. It's 90 every day in Louisiana. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> but you couldn't take our winters. <laughs> Thank you, True Deadman. Devin, hello and welcome to the stream. Okay. So um, I'm gonna just start working on the anatomy. I would like to kind of make it through this one. I know I'm constantly talking and I hardly draw. Not that I mind, I love hanging out with you guys, but then I feel kind of bad, like you came here to see art and you see no art. <laughs> yeah, Paul, you left us. That was mean. <laughs> All right, I'm using my kneaded eraser. She definitely needs a little bit more in the booby region. So we're gonna be fixing that. Yes, Jason, it's a commission I did not finish at New York Comic Con. So I've had it on my to-do list. Um, it's not quite on my commission wait list, but it is on my to-do list. So, um, I stopped working on Wonder Woman. As you guys know, I was working on Wonder Woman with you last stream. I'm not happy with it. Something isn't working right. I either need to go, I'm, for starters, need to go back to the drawing board. Um, and I, um, yeah, I need to go back to the drawing board and rethink it. Either fix the, the drawing and make it better or just do a completely new layout because it's, it's not good enough and I'm not happy with it. So um, 
sometimes that happens where things just aren't really working and I feel like I've been banging my head against the Wonder Woman wall <laughs> for a fair few days. I really have and it's a huge bummer. <laughs> Back to Wonder Booty. <laughs> You can't do two dates at the same time. All right, I forgive you for leaving me for Ryan and Shannon. <laughs> Needs more booty, I agree. Oh, thank you, Xavier. Um, the baby was a baby 18 years ago. He's now 18. So uh, he's not a huge fan of big hugs now. <laughs> zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Rob, hello and welcome. So I'm going to push her pelvis back a little bit more. That should hopefully bring the sexy back a little bit. And we're going to adjust her legs. God, I really hope I've left enough room. That's the hardest thing with blanks, I'm telling you guys, is to get the sizing right. <laughs> ah! I should have. I know, Tom, but I didn't, I, I was not really looking very good that day and I didn't want to. Maybe I'll do one later. <laughs> oh, you got a hold of Eddie. Oh my goodness. And is he going to give you the, the wonder booty? <laughs> Raven, hi, Shane. I am saying size matters at certain points in time. <laughs> The way dudes think it does, in my opinion, it doesn't really. <laughs> Just for some TMI for your Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> it's kind of all or nothing. I don't want to give you half-ass attention. Right, Paul, I will accept nothing else but your full attention. <laughs> Mark, I'm doing great. Thank you. The sizing of thighs matter. They require thickness. Aw, Kadiro. <laughs> oh my god. Unfortunately, no, but he will look you up if he decides to part with it. Aw, sorry. Struck out there, Jason. I bet you I can't remember how much that commission went for. Literally, I have no freaking clue. Um, but I bet you he got a decent deal. <laughs> oh, I really hope so, Devin. But thank you. That makes me, um, it makes me feel good that, you know, you guys are supporting of it and that, you know, he, I think he's ready to be all grown up now. And so there's that too. And it's very difficult for me. I'm just like, okay, but who's going to do your laundry and who's going to like clean your room? <laughs> Maybe someday didn't want to push too much too quick. <laughs> <laughs> You've had two that survived the move to university so far. That's good to hear. Oh, that's so cool, Tom. Philip, yes.
yes, Ebass's uh, portion of the art has made it through customs. It actually made it through customs in one hour. So I got a text update shortly after uh, I ended the live stream last time and it was through customs. And now it doesn't tell me where it is because tracking once something crosses the border, the tracking's a little so-so. So it says it has arrived at a new location in Canada and then it has arrived in a new location in Canada. And so um, there's all of those steps that it has gone through. And so it's bumped through a fair few places here in Canada. Now, to get from Vancouver to here is really not that many steps for a parcel. So um, my guess is it's gonna arrive tomorrow or Friday. That's my projection. So I sent off the sketch to Eric and JP Roth just before the live stream for their, uh, any changes for them to do their review on. Was that piece sold at your first con? I don't think so, Jason. I actually drew that one at home. So I don't know what year I drew that. I have no idea. Okay, guys, I've got to tell you something that's true and honest. <laughs> uh, those of you who were here at the beginning, <laughs> help me please so I'm not stressed out about this the entire live stream. <laughs> I never wear dresses. I have a kneeling chair. When I went to sat, sit down, did I, like, were there any issues? <laughs> help me. I can't go back and look until the live stream is over and I'm so nervous. <laughs> You hope your Chrome takes less than a month. <laughs> I was good. Thank you, Savannah. I've been so scared. Ever since I sat down, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> and usually I'll wear like sport shorts underneath my dress. <laughs> No mishaps. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I know that that, like, I, you guys are my friends, so we're in a safe place and I can ask you <laughs> because I'm going to be stressing for three hours. <laughs> At least I'm honest. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I'm going to have to put another piece of paper under my hand. Three hour dress stress. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Savannah. <laughs> I w I've been stressing for like the last, I don't know, 20 minutes or something or however long I've been live. I've been hardcore stressing about it. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to ask everyone <laughs> because if I did, I'd just turn off the stream, delete the video and start over. <laughs> <laughs> I heart you guys. Thank you. As you can tell, I'm not very accustomed to wearing dresses. <laughs> I know. Now I'm just like many shades of red. You can really see it in my ears. I'm blushing like from chess up here. <laughs> um, I need a portable AC. I have a portable AC. It's just too much of a pain in the ass to set up. <laughs> You're glowing, Dawn. Restarting that completely inaccurate rumor. <laughs> Great, Rob. <laughs> Well, I'm most certainly not commando. That is not something I do. However, I'm still worried. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. That's just not ladylike. All right, so now it is the thigh foreshortening. The most unfun part of unfun parts. 
is getting the thigh foreshortened. All right, now she's got her cape, which I'll be honest, it's very difficult to make a foot look like a real foot when someone is kneeling and sitting on their feet. They look like little weird hoofs sitting out the back. And when you see a photo of a person kneeling on their feet, like fully, you know, kneeling, um, you accept that that's a foot. But if you were to take a, a photo of somebody kneeling in this position and actually draw out that foot in line art, you will, it, it will look like a hoof. And so I'm, I'm going to do something sneaky weaky with this and I'm going to use what I did here, which is her cape. <laughs> I have no problem drawing feet, but there are some positions where the foot doesn't look like a foot and it looks really, really odd. <laughs> I know. Right. Oh my God, Paul. True. <laughs> You know, to each their own. Some people love going commando, some people don't. It's really not my jam. <laughs> Hello, Jason. <laughs> Perry, hi. <laughs> Hello, meme. Steve, is it Stefan or Steven? Stefan, maybe? Chapman? Hello. Have you ever thought of put about Pete? Putting an Easter egg in one and just making a foot. <laughs> no, I've never thought of that, John. Because I can't really, like, fuck around with somebody else's commission, you know? It's just... I, 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 I would feel bad. <laughs> Or, you know, someone else's commission, a company's cover. Maybe if I'm just drawing something for myself for like shits and giggles, I'll put it up. <laughs> oh, I hear you there, Savannah. <laughs> Commando really needs a grasp of how fabrics are going to work with your stuff. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's really something I think, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm just being like stereotyping here, but I think that's more of a dude thing. <laughs> okay, so then I'm, I'm rotating the thigh like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other one, let's see. I'm going to put the other one over here. I'm not trusting my art from six years ago to help me with anatomy. <laughs> oh my God, Devin, you're on a roll today. Itching is universal. <laughs> John, that's so cool. I'm so sorry, I apologize, apologize to everyone for my uh, <laughs> language. <laughs> no gender specific itches. <laughs> Lol, Rob. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to behave myself. Let's see if I can go for the rest of the stream without being a naughty girl. Oh, I'm just sweating like crazy. So much gross. Okay, so I want to turn her body a little bit more than is in this one. Like this arm, the way that it is, it looks stiff to me. So I want to loosen that up. <laughs> Tranquil Mist, hello and welcome. <laughs> kicks down door. <laughs> I know. Uh, I, I've, I've been uh, spouting off a little bit. Just, just a smidge. <laughs> You're awesome, Savannah. It's true, Steve. I'm trying to like, you know, get that going. <laughs> All 
All right, so I want a good kind of bend in the hips. So like upper body uh, arching back, hips arching forward. And so it's all kind of creating a, a pretty intense arch in her back. Oh my God, am I like, oh no, it's just, I was looking at the camera and thinking like, oh my God, am I getting like a dark sweat mark right there? And that would be so gross. But no, it's just my sports bra is darker. <laughs> just like I'm on Ryan's stream for Shannon's berating. <laughs> Do you have a favorite character or cover that you drew? I have a favorite cover right now. It's not released yet, but um, people uh, that saw me working on it know it as Dan's apartment. Um, that's because my husband was misbehaving. But anyway, it's a, it's a Divinica cover. It should be out sometime next year, fingers crossed. I know, now I'm just freaking out about everything. <laughs> You've been working on a neat I Divinica idea. I'll post it to Boop Squad when I'm done. Devin, that's so awesome. Arnav, hello. I'm sorry that I missed saying hello to you sooner. I really love all the wallpapers and everything you make, Devin. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah, right, Tom? Okay. I want, maybe I even want to make them more out like that. Yes, yes. Need to bring the sexy back. And I personally feel that's extremely appropriate for a character like Lady Death. And Lady Death is like a very hourglassed figure so, um, you know, I need to give her a little bit more in the hips. Dan's penthouse condo, yes. Ernesto, hello. <laughs> Are you doing a cover for the next, co next Kickstarter or is this it? Uh, you know what, Eric, I am not in the next Lady Death Kickstarter. It's my fault though. So before anybody has <clears throat> any questions as to whether there was, a, you know, Brian didn't, didn't ask me about it or whatever, I, I think that the way it all worked is I was given a couple options as far as my next cover project. It was between, you know, and, and Brian gave me some concepts to, to consider, which was so sweet of him. Um, and I chose the Halloween one. So I think that kind of bumped me to October, not the Kickstarter time, if that makes sense. <laughs> Placing it, oh, true. Yes, Lady Death is curvilicious. The candle cover is your personal favorite. Tom, that means so much, truly. I also need to spread her legs a little bit more freezing because I um, I need the sword to go in the in the center. Thank you, Tom. Yay! I hope you guys like the final of the Halloween cover. I had so much fun working on it. Oh, thank you, Arnav. I hope the same for you. <laughs> Uh, the reason why, Paul, is because Facebook actually does allow topless art, as long as it is art, not a real human. Uh, Twitch does not have that allowance, and because I'm on both right now, I, I, uh, I have to cover the boobies. 
Barbecue Bandits, hello, welcome to the stream. I am working on ripping my own art off. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is a commission that I did in 2014. The collector that I am working on a cover for now would like me to recreate it, but he did make it clear that he wants me to one-up myself. How am I gonna one-up this kind of detail? Anatomy, yes. I got you, but on the detail, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, you've been here before, you had to change your name. Well, I like your new name. What was your previous name? Tell that to D Joe, she got booted off Facebook twice yesterday. I saw that, Jeff. Um, I went and watched the, her live stream before I went to bed. So I'm like, you know, I watched it at like one in the morning. <laughs> Poor Joe. That's so weird. Cause technically Facebook will allow it. It's in their rules. But right now what's happening is if somebody reports your thing, they'll just take it down immediately. A Facebook only topless night. Lol, that would be funny. Watch me get banned for that though, uh, John. <laughs> I am. <laughs> That's right, Rivera. Was black bandits, but was getting, uh, because of the time right? Okay, so decided to change it. Yeah, that makes sense. Barbecue bandits is cool. You'll take that original. I love all that Ebass level of detail. Which original are you talking about? <laughs> Fair enough, Paul. Get home safe. So I've decided to actually make her arm coming outward. Just sort of, oh my God, everything I say is just gonna be so naughty and dirty, but to just kind of open up the, the pose a little bit. Uh, this really closes her in this way. It kind of makes it a little bit, uh, I don't know. It'll look a less, little bit less awkward. To me, the bend in the arm, uh, just the way that this is, I don't know, I'm a little unsure about it, so I'm gonna try something else with her hands. Thank you, meme. <laughs> You'll take the black and white printer paper. <laughs> You can find this on Google, which is how I found it, because I don't even know if I have a proper picture of this one. This is ages ago. I didn't even have a decent phone to take pictures at conventions. And I think I finished this at Phoenix Comic Con, like in 2014. So I just swiped this off the Google <laughs> and it's in color, but I don't have a color printer. <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> What? Are you serious, Rob? Oh, I do it all the time, True Deadman. When I'm being like lazy and I don't want to get up and go to my computer and try to locate said image in some folder, I'll just Google it. It's very handy. <laughs> it's handy for the lazy dawn. <laughs> Okay, belly button is here-ish. Generally, the mid part of your arm right there is in line with the belly button. <sighs> 
so I need to make sure that's in line there and then here of course it's a bit more bent but still I need to have it somewhere around like that though in order to get her hand up here maybe I'll move I'll make the sword maybe slightly shorter like so So that I can put her hand down a little bit lower and then everything will actually reach. Hanu Soul, hello and welcome to the stream. Have you done a revisit piece like this before? You know what? I don't think so, Devin. Um, as far as I am aware. And you know, when it comes to me and art memory, it's a little, little sketch. But um, yeah, I don't think so. This is my first one. <laughs> it literally popped up as the first image in the Google search. Success! That makes life easier. Okay, I think we're getting, we're making some progress. This is working. It's a little confusing here when I've got three different hands drawn. <laughs> Remember to sheath the sword. Well, I've got the sword here and she's holding the sheath. You know what, I'm gonna put this underneath just because grade is very important to this collector and I do not want to screw that up. So I may not even hand this one over until Swornfest, fingers crossed. <laughs> crease of her upper left thigh her left thigh or the thigh on our left David Thank you, John D'Amico. <laughs> I learned something new. I know, multitasker Lady Death. Her left. Okay, so it's this one. All right, well, I'll keep working on it. Right now it's Le Scribble. for frozen margaritas, Tom, for sure. I, I hope so, Rob, so bad.
Take care, Eric. <laughs> oh, sorry, Keeman. I hadn't heard. Christian, whoop whoop, don't happy dance. Here. I keep drawing the lips like way too freaking low. When does the EBAS collaboration get released? EJ, I'm not entirely sure um, when that's going to happen, it, um, but I'm, pr I'm hoping that the, uh, that the actual board that he sent for me to draw on, I'm hoping it arrives by this weekend so that I can actually work on it in earnest next week. You have a bad feeling your state is going to be back on lockdown. I'm so sorry, Keeman. Is the fan creating weird noises in the in the mic? I'm good. Okay, thank you. Belgium added new restrictions. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. All you hear is your fan. <laughs> good, good, good. I might need to elongate her chin a tiny bit. For now, I'm just going to work on getting her 
the face in. Oh, and the wonderful, glorious thing about drawing Lady Death is I don't have to draw any eyeballs. Woo! <laughs> you hear nothing but the scritchity scritchity of little pencil scribbles. Yay! <laughs> Twenty-eight hour drives, once to Chicago and once to Seattle. Wow. <laughs> Hello, Sofizo. Excessive heat warning for the next six days. Oh my god, Mr. E, I'm so sorry. 115 plus. Yikes! Hello! Alright, so I'll be working on the shape of her face in a moment. My Streamlabs report came five minutes after I started on live, but that, you guys are still on Twitch, so we should be all right. It's supposed to come at the end. Once all the madness ends, road trips will happen, yes. I think my appreciation for con conventions and the ability to travel and all of those things that I took for granted before is very, very appreciated now. Thank you so much for stopping in, Witchell, and sleep well. We're still twitching. Whoop, whoop.
<laughs> Congratulations on finishing your commissions, Griff the Fox. Well done. Okay, so then we need to give her her hairline should be about there. Momentary water break. Hold, please. Yes, the hair scribbles are a whole thing. Okay, so I no longer need the remainder of her skull. I didn't like how that arm looked. I'm just erasing some of the, the guidelines that I had for her face so that hopefully I can see if anything is off or in the wrong place. Sometimes I can get a little distracted by all the, the lines and then um, once they're erased, I start seeing some errors. So I'm just erasing them now so that hopefully if there's anything wrong, I can catch it. William, hello, hello, I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you find it inspiring to see me erase Kadiro. <laughs> Oh yay, you used the white and black pencil technique. Woo, I'm so glad it helped. All right, so I, I maybe am seeing some errors in my current thinking as far as the, the way that I'm going to position her arm, and maybe I will do it the way that I had it before. For starters, one nice thing is that when I have it this way, I will try to fix some of the things that I want to adjust in it, um, but this way you can see her full shoulder armor piece. Um, and just so everyone knows, I have been, uh, I've gotten a commission where someone requested that I recreate uh, a commission I did in 2014. So this is six years ago. Uh, I found it on Google and printed it out because I don't have a scan of it, I don't think. Saeed, hello! Yes, it's a commission. After the ER visit, they figured out why I've been so sick. Type 2 diabetes, but it's going to be okay. Oh, William, I'm so sorry, but I'm glad you have answers because now you know what to do, and that's the best part. Oh, 
Awesome, Griff the Fox. Or post it in Boop Squad. Are you part of Boop Squad? Because sometimes I don't see messages on, uh, on Facebook. But I do try to check Boop Squad uh, once a day so that I can keep up on everybody's art. Pointy, pointy, sharpie, sharpie on this cover. Seems more recently she's been more sheery, sheery, softy, wispy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Rob. So how's the cover tracking? Good question, Saeed. Um, I checked in on it and I got an update today. And it is, they're not telling me exactly where it is. So once uh, an international shipment crosses the border, sometimes it's, they're not specific on where it is. It just says that it has passed through another location on its way and it's somewhere in Canada. But all it needs to do is come from Vancouver to here, which is honestly, as far as the postal system goes, not very far. So my guess is that it's gonna arrive before the weekend, which is awesome. So I have my sketch in with Ebass and JP Roth for review. Oh, thank you, Sofizo. I do have my own comic that I work on with JP Roth. It's called Divinica. Oh my God, I really don't like the way I drew her lips. Ew, not good. Yeah, waiting is really difficult, Saeed, but I'm so glad that at least we have updates now. So um, it's on its way, which is better than not knowing where on earth it was. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, Neo Moon. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, sorry, Steve. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying out the whole arm, and I'm trying to see what I prefer. I, uh, I'm not sure if I liked what, how I had it before, so I'm just working on it. But pretty soon, like, the reason why I'm working pretty hard on the anatomy of this one first is because, um, <clears throat> This outfit is really, really detailed, and so I really don't want to have to fix something anatomically once I've drawn the outfit. That's going to be so much redo work. You like this arm better than the last sketch. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm realizing that for Lady Death, you know, she's got a she's got a nice um, curve in her back now, which I had removed before. So I've put the curve in her back, back, <laughs> and now um, I'm working on uh, just trying to get the arm right. I'm gonna show a little bit of her rib cage behind her boob there. I think that's probably appropriate. Yeah, I know, Kadiro. Just lop them off. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Rob. <laughs> no, there was a, a right arm there. I just took it away. <laughs> Nihilus, hello and welcome to today's stream. It's great to see you. JR, welcome to the stream. There was an arm. It was just irrelevant. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I'm so glad that you guys like the direction that it's going now. That's wonderful. Excellent news. And thank you for telling me or I may have erased it again. It's how I roll. If 
for when a trade of Divinica is made, will there be a special cover for it? Definitely, G. Rivera, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, and J.P. Roth and I have talked about it a little bit, about maybe doing a trade next year. Uh, we'll have to see. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with the arm anymore. It's pretty much all right. It's in the right place. So now it's time for me to actually start putting in some of the detail. So I'm going to make her finger coming down a little bit further because this is wider. It needs to be wider at the top to actually hold that the sword. And I'm going to have it overlap her butt just a teeny weeny bit right there. Let's rotate that a little bit more. That going right there. All right, now it is pretty much time to start working on her actual outfit. So I went to town on this outfit. I, uh, I think I designed it on this commission, this whole outfit situation. And then I've, I've, it's happened to me a number of times that I've been asked to recreate this outfit for varying pieces or covers or whatever. Actually, no, no, scratch that. I think I created this outfit for that uh, Lady Death cover and then used it here. All right, yeah, Lady Death cover was first. I, I don't think I would come up with an outfit like this at a convention. <laughs> I'm not braining that fantastically at a con. Oh. Thank you, Sofizo. Yeah, Divinica is about goddesses from all different pantheons of mythology, and then we have one main character whose name is Divinica, um, and she is like a link and ties all of them together, but exactly how that works, we're still revealing. So uh, really where it's all gonna kind of come together is in the next issue, so issue six. Thank you, Witchell. I hope you have a good night's sleep and thanks for stopping in. I'm honestly, I find it surprising that like I'm your, your nighttime relaxy. <laughs> <laughs> We're anything but relaxed over here. <laughs> you know, makeup brushes are really handy. Uh, this is actually a Sumi painting brush. Um, I do need to wash it, but this costs like $3 at the art store. Thank you, Neo Moon. I'm having some issues with the fan. <laughs> the stream is very relaxing. That is awesome, you guys. I'm so happy to hear it. If I make her mouth that little bit open, it makes her chin too short and then I have to elongate her whole face and it ruins everything. So I just closed her mouth. So now I'm going to actually, now that I remember that it was off of a Lady Death cover, I'm going to look at that one for a second. 
<laughs> Yours is gone with the wind, Steve. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Steve. Almost like a Bob Ross quality to it. Saeed, thank you so much. <laughs> Hello, James. Welcome to the stream today. Um, all right, uh, one second. I'm going to get back to you, James, on the, um, the EBAS art question. I'm just looking for something, and it appears that I can only multitask in, in, in a very few directions today. It's very hot. My brain is overheating. My, my computer straight up died yesterday. I mean, Dan revived it because he wins, but, um, yeah, my computer just, like, went dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was too hot. Okay, uh, Coffin Comics, final covers. When did I draw that one? 2014 colors. Yes, here we go. We will find the things we need. Huh, yeah. Okay, so I first drew this as a cover in 2014, and then I guess I already ripped my cover design art off for this one so it's like inception <laughs> cover inception i don't even know if that's right <laughs> um but yes now i'm copying it again <laughs> it's amazing to just kind of you know rip off work from six years ago <laughs> all right james I hope you're still here. I wasn't trying to ignore you. Um, yes, I do have updates on Ebass's art that is arriving. And it, on the last stream, I don't know if you were here for that, um, on the last stream, I got a notification from tracking that it arrived in Canada. Woo! Then an hour later, it was through customs, which is amazing. An hour to go through customs is like freaking unheard of. Um, and then now I keep getting updates that it's on its way here. When tracking is, leaves, when something leaves the US and switches to Canada Post tracking, it's not very specific. So I have a package on its way to me somewhere in Canada. <laughs> but uh, it was in Vancouver a few days ago. So my guess is it's gonna be here any minute. I'm hoping by the weekend I will have it. Oh, Saeed, it, it started again, so we're fine. Is that Canada hot or real hot? It was 90 degrees in my house, like in my room yesterday, Hanusol. Feel sorry for me. Can I get on the commission list for Don Ross? Aw, Steve. Joystick Ya, hello and welcome to the stream. Aw, thank you, Dan Carver. Yeah, I know. Oh, you were here. It's and it's I know it's so great, James, that it's still moving through the pipelines. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I uh, scanned my sketch right before going live and sent it to Ebass and JP Roth for their review. And, you know, I listed all the things that I thought was wrong with the art when I sent it to them. And I'm going to see what they agree with and disagree with because I want Ebass to be picky and, you know, make me do a good job. I'm really trying. Candice. Uh, I am, I am recreating a blank from 2014 for a collector. <laughs> Need bigger boobs. Oh my God. <laughs> she still needs bigger boobs. Are you serious? I already really worked on the, the boobage situation, and I thought I had gotten it right. I'm just fixing up her eyes a little bit. Lady Death is not supposed to really look cute. So I do generally draw some, like, hollow in her cheeks whenever I draw Lady Death because, you know, that that makes her look less cute, more womanly without like adjusting the sh shape of her face because I don't want to give her like 
too square a jaw or something like that. It just changes Lady Death for me anyway. So I, I, I utilize cheekbones on Lady Death quite a bit. <laughs> That's what he, oh, I doubt it, actually. I might need to, like, give them a little reduction. <laughs> Lol, Kadiro. Yes, probably, Rob, but I'm hoping he'll be a little bit more particular than that. I, I, I know you guys are all right. Everyone in Phoenix and Texas and anywhere else in the world that is warmer than Canada, which is most places, have every right to make so much fun of me. But I'm still me and I feel the heat I feel. <laughs> it's my truth. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Oh my God. Todd Sharp, hello and welcome to the stream today. I hope you're having a good afternoon and can handle my incessant whining. I think her eyes were rotated a little bit oddly and that's just how I did her lashes so I'm just fixing that up a little tiny bit because I want to give Lady Death I always give Lady Death some really intense makeup I go for I go to town <laughs> every room is AC there we don't have AC up north that also true <laughs> Oh, poke as much fun as you wish, Saeed. I will just whine and complain back, but I expect you all to make, a, you know, intense fun of me. You should. That's what's fun, and uh, I can take it. So go for your life. Make all the fun of me that you want to for my, like, inability to handle summer. <laughs> I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Yes, I did draw for Lady Death, and thank you so much for looking at my web store. That is awesome. I never would make fun of the weather with you, Dawn. <laughs> oh, Rob says, I, on the other hand, I have a very fragile ego. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Todd Sharp. You're such a sweetheart. Oh, please do, though, Saeed. <laughs> Barbaric toaster. Okay, it has taken me a few minutes to be able to make out and read your, your Twitch handle. Barbaric toaster. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> takes a minute yeah <laughs> I'm telling you twitch names because there's letters and numbers and you know it's not necessarily spelt out the way you would normally read it so I don't know it's like Twitch is like an IQ test that I fail every afternoon that I'm live streaming <laughs> <laughs> You're going to complain plenty when it gets cold. Aw. <laughs> and in dawn speak, it's even harder. Right? Michael Curtis, hello and welcome to the stream. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try and focus a little bit more and not reach the end of the live stream with nothing to show for it. It's quite discouraging for me. It makes me very sad. I don't know. I don't know about her face. We're just going to leave it for a minute. Okay. Uh, let's start getting the outfit in. So I'm looking at my cover that this is actually... From, if you guys want to find, well, you can find this on the, um, you can find this on the Google. 
according to Tom, it's the first search. If you look up Dawn Lady Death, this one comes up. So then you can see what it is that I'm referring to. I'm also looking at the cover that is the actual original design of this, I think, if memory serves me correctly. I designed it first for a cover and then did this, but I'm not sure. It's all a little foggy. <laughs> I didn't sleep very much back then, like at all. Sir John, that is true. Your name is easy to read. <laughs> oh no, Steve died again. <sighs> oh my god, Rob, way to give me a heart attack. I hope, oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Savannah said I was okay. And in girl code, she has to. <laughs> she has to have told me the truth. I hope. <laughs> so Savannah, Savannah's got me. <laughs> oh, so John is Sir John. All right, now I'm so confused. <laughs> Rob, you're so mean. Oh my God, now I'm like all nervous again. No. <laughs> we all got you in clip form. No. Savannah's got me. She thinks she's got me. Oh no. I have suddenly become very uncomfortable. <laughs> Ask the Google. Didn't like that mouth either. Sometimes it takes a few tries. Okay, so uh, this is the center of her chest, which means uh, maybe her collarbones should technically align properly in the center of her chest. That would be helpful in the art world. You're fairly certain. No. <laughs> oh, you're so awesome, John. Juan, welcome to the stream. I know. I think I've drawn her mouth like four times and erased it. Oh, I can only imagine, John, I've never tried. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so she has um, centering is vitally important for this outfit because that is how her cape attaches. I, boy, I really went for it here. I don't know. Okay, so it comes to two points like this with the leather, and then I just decided for funsies to do lace up. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh my god, Rob! <laughs> All right, here we go. And then here is where her cape attaches. So there's like some, a little metal portion like this, and then there's another metal portion here. So it kind of flanks her neck and that's where the cloth attaches. And then down at the bottom here, her bra piece attaches here and that's the top of her bra. And then on the other side, the same thing happens. So her bra attaches up to her neck collar situation and also her um her cape attaches to it as well so this is a whole thing <clears throat> thank you brad cook i have definitely studied and uh focused on j scott campbell's art a lot i uh his art was the first comic art I found, and I have been a hardcore fan ever since. So definitely I would say I am influenced by J. Scott Campbell for sure. Um, 
and I even got an art class from J. Scott Campbell as a birthday present <laughs> from Rothick crew and Sabine and Brett, and they all worked it out for me to get like a one hour art class with Campbell. So, yay! When you begin your drawings, are you able to visualize perspective and just go, or do you create guidelines? It depends, uh, Savannah. A lot of times, for something that I know is going to need a lot of background, I will, I always do a rough layout first with no grid or perspective lines or anything like that. Um, and I kind of draw out the idea. The perspective could be as won wonktastic as possible, um, but then what I do is I'll put in a grid line afterwards and then refine it there. But I always start without a grid line. I know that may sound odd, but I, I read it in a book that I bought. It's called Frame Perspective. Uh, if you can get it off of Amazon, I highly recommend it. It is gold. Campbell fangirl, yes. Griff the Fox, I have drawn Dawn by Michael Linsner or Joe Linsner. Um, just as like some quick sketches and stuff, I haven't drawn her for real, like for a co uh, cover or anything like that. Oh man, I hope so, Mystery, but I don't really think I can. <laughs> yeah, it is more freeing, less con um, constrictive, and it'll help you have the energy in the art that you want without like making it all too sterile. <laughs> Rob says, also fangirl, and points to himself. <laughs> Campbell fangirl. I love it, Rob. You're awesome. Oh, because Hanu Soul, I started out the live stream on a roll and then realized that I needed to kind of rein myself in a little bit. So I'm working on becoming more behaved. Plus, I have a fan on me directly now, so I'm, I'm feeling less evil. <laughs> you can't, but it felt good to say. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> I'm very worried that it did, Juan. <laughs> I'm afraid. I have become very afraid. All right, these need to come a little bit more there. And then her top is, I did like a, I was really into um, like wrap around tops for Lady Death for a little while. <laughs> Memes will be on Boop Squad by midnight, oh no. <laughs> Most unfortunate. Okay, and then I'm just going to get that there. goes over on this side. I don't know why I put it up so high. What was I thinking? There we go. Then I'm just going to erase out some of the lines so that it's clear that it's um, scrunched up cloth there. And that's going to go like so. It ties right here, so that's going to kind of be right like that. Adds a little bit of vis visual interest right there. And then on this side, I don't know why, but I gave her some chains like this. 
Oh, I know why. I did that to follow the rib cage. Is it really blurry for you guys? Like, should I try to get it a little better? There we go. <gasps> At least. <laughs> Not blurry now. Okay, good. Good, good. All right. And so then she has her cape right here. This goes to about there. Okay, and then her panties where she is. Oh, yeah, she's got panties and they go up pretty high. And then she's got a belt that goes lower. Okay, and then here's her belt. It's gonna be, okay, it's actually sitting right here on her hip. <laughs> it's only blurry on certain areas. Oh my God, I wish. Okay, and then shoulder, she's got a big piece of shoulder armor right here. So it's actually gonna cover up a good bit of her, like her shoulder area and the top of her arm. Okay, and then there's a piece that's attaching that to her upper boob area. So it goes like this and then that's going to have to squish down her boob a bit. All right. And there is a skull on it. I'm just going to erase some of these lines so I can see. has a a rim around the whole perimeter of it like that Tim Harris hello and welcome to the stream today I hope you're having a good day so far Your first version was painted in watercolor. You know what, Griff the Fox? Part of it was. I did most of it with Copic marker and then just added a little bit of watercolor on the edges, like for the sky in the background, just to give it a little bit of color. Uh, it was back when I really didn't own very many Copic markers at all. <laughs> art for a ripoff. <laughs> Thank you. I hope you realize that was a joke. I am ripping off my own work from a few years ago. <laughs> Hello, Pedro. Welcome to the stream. 
You asked because you found the color version on Google. Yeah, good eye though, because yes, it was just a tiny bit of watercolor in the sky that I did. Oh, Robin Mystery, you guys are the best for keeping, for being aware that it's almost time for double dip. Whoop, whoop. So I've got her cape going over her shoulder thing just a little bit. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rob. The weekend checkbook attack. <laughs> A work of 2014, that's right. <laughs> okay, so then there's a skull right here. That, this piece is attaching like that. Then we've got one spike here. A smaller one right here. And then a bigger one right there. Now it's the thighs time. Yes, you do, Savannah. Please show them. Uh, are you on Boop Squad? Okay, so now it's thigh time. So I'm going to put the directional lines. I always do this when things are foreshortened because it really helps me keep my, um, my head on straight for this kind of stuff. And I I think her leg might need to be a little bit bigger. Hello! Frenchies! Just met you on Twitch, just followed you. Thank you so much for the follow and for liking my work. That's amazing and welcome to the Twitch stream. I'm so sorry, Acorn. That's so sad. I'm so sorry to hear that. Lurk away. Tannis, welcome to the stream.
Allison Todd, thank you for joining. And Rob, thank you so much for going over to Facebook and putting in the information about Boop Squad. You are the best and I'm so grateful. <laughs> Lauren says she is coloring a, a price on Facebook watching you both. Oh, that's so awesome. She's on Boop Squad. Yay. Oh, okay. So Lauren Wright is, are you talking about Lauren Wright artist, James? Ashley, I am working on recreating a commission that I did in 2014. So that's why I called it the art forgery ripoff stream. <laughs> it's meant as a joke just for fun. Um, so I'm redoing that for uh, a collector. Ah, all is becoming clear now, James. <laughs> I am so sorry I had not made the connection. Yeah, Lauren's work is amazing. Like, every time she posts a new commission, I'm just like, damn, well done. Her coloring is also on point. Blame everything on Moobot. That's wh what you should do. I added. Yes? Yeah, she wouldn't do. <laughs> I tried to bring in more sexy. Basics of uh, T's official. Um, you know who I strongly recommend is if you go onto YouTube and search David Finch. David just normally spelled Finch, F I N C H. He is unbelievably good and he's starting to post a lot of YouTube tutorial videos. I've been watching them, they are so amazing. So definitely go watch uh, YouTube, David Finch. He is uh mostly known for drawing batman he's incredibly good <laughs> and his videos are extremely helpful and informative so i highly recommend them oh see you later matthew have a good one lauren's doing some cool gi joe coloring on facebook now oh wow that's awesome Okay, so she has sort of like a armor, shoulder, I mean elbow piece. Have the art police been called on this thievery yet? Have the, <laughs> no, some people, are, some people may think that it's legit that I'm doing like forgery and shit, but <laughs> everybody's got a good sense of humor. Oh, true, Sofizo. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> Lauren Wright, W R I G H T. I is it right? Is that how you spell her that last name? <laughs> David Finch is amazing. I'm gonna blow off my hand. It's too hot. W R I G H T. Okay, good. Yeah. And so I think her art page is Lauren Wright Artist, probably. It's Dan. Yes. Dan is back from the gym. Aw, that's so sweet, 
Rob, you told her? <laughs> Okay, lips, let's try again here. I don't know what the hell is going on. I've really been having a bad artist week. I'm not going to lie. It's been a struggle. I just feel like everything I'm drawing, I don't like. Except for Morgana. I'm happy with Morgana. Everything else, not so much. And so that's why I'm kind of starting over on Wonder Woman because... I don't know, I just I didn't think it was looking good and I don't want to hand over a commission to somebody who's been waiting for three years, mind you, very patiently, never made a peep, never complained at me, never gave me a hard time. And then I, I know I'm stressing myself out about this, but I feel like it's so important that I like do a good job after three years of waiting. Um, and it, I, I don't know. I've, I've really been struggling this week. He is, Juan. He's working on it. <laughs> Thank you, Frenchies. Am I saying that correctly? Mr. E is getting no love? What happened? Yes, James, for sure. I am using an Alvin Draft Tech um, 0 0.3 millimeter pencil. I It comes with a pocket clip right here, but I break them all off because they're annoying. Um, I bought this, I think it cost $6 at uh, dickblick.com is where I get uh, these pencils. Oh, I love Lauren. You know, she, it would be great to have her here, but also I'm so impressed that she's going live right now. That, like, respect. <laughs> Lauren tries to stream on days you're off unless you change your schedule. Yeah, I really screwed everything up this week, didn't I? John Smith, hi, I'm doing great. How are you? 
Do you ever draw digitally on a stylus? Yes, I own a Cintiq 22HD that I use for digital coloring. Sometimes I'll take my layout, so like my little rough pencil sketches, and I will do the sketch and clean it up on the computer. I'm not super great with digital drawing, but I'm trying. Oh, okay, my sunburn is coming in. <laughs> I'm becoming pink. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that this sword is straight. So let's make it, all right, so the hand, you know what? <laughs> Before I try to get the sword straight, I should make sure that her hand actually works here and then worry about the sword. Hmm. So, forearm is here, the boobies are covering part of the upper arm, there we go, because my previous blank commission, I kind of got a little bit of the anatomy wrong, so I'm trying to fix some things without ruining the overall vibe, which can happen when you try to fix anatomical issues, it can also lose some of its pizzazz. So I'm kind of trying to have the best of both worlds, have my cake, eat it also. What keeps sinking further into the gutter? Who, where, what? <laughs> On Instagram, she is Lauren Wright Artist. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. I just got an order from Samantha. In Samantha Connett. If, if you happen to be on live right now, Samantha, thank you so, so much for your order. I heart you. Oh, the conversation. Oh, it'll keep going. Tannis knows. She's prepared. She can handle this level of nonsense. <laughs> Down we go. <laughs> oh, Tannis, you're the best. I am going to bring out measuring tape and all those things. I'm sorry. Getting distracted. Forearm, forearm. <laughs> oh my God, some of us come into the conversation wearing our boots. Oh, that's amazing. Happy birthday, Franchi's brother. Okay, am I right here? I may not be right. I am not right, I am wrong. Okay, oh, God damn it. Here we go, here we go, yes, I was wrong. I need to make her forearm just a little bit longer, a little bit. I mean, sorry, her upper arm. God, I don't know, that doesn't look right either. Thank you, James. Will this one have a bite mark by any chance? 
No, those are reserved for butts, Saeed. <laughs> yes, mask artist. I am going to ink it next. That is the plan. But I'm trying to get the anatomy correct first. There we go. Just had to start with the hand. How long do you have to last? <laughs> Wait a minute. I pose for you. <laughs> well, it is trying to curve forward a little bit because it's the the sword is um in between her legs. So it does need to curve forward, and then I just need to get it so that it um, works like this. So I'm probably just going to move that hand, and we need to make her boobs bigger. There we go. Move that back. Put this over here. I'm going to put this finger up a little bit higher. And then that's going to be like so. And then here is the center of the sword. This sword is very complex. It's going to take me a minute to figure out. I see what you mean, Saeed. Okay, and then behind her and resting on the ground is her cape. So she's really kneeling all over the cape. I'm going to thin out her hair a little bit. I was making her head just far too big because I made her hair. Now, Lady Death does have very vol voluminous, voluminous hair, however you say that. Um, but you know, I don't want to make it too high on the top or it kind of makes her head look a little bit odd. So Oh, thank you, mask artist. I do have a lot of um I have a lot of artists that inspire me. I mean, 
just on Instagram, I follow like a thousand. <laughs> Kevin, hello, welcome to the stream. Okay, now she's got some pretty intense pretty intense uh, detail going on here on her thighs. So there's this situation going on. That takes a long time to draw. <laughs> I am Kevin. How are you doing? How's live streaming going? <laughs> so this is super duper going to be complicated because of the level of detail going on in this. Welcome to the stream. This one, Juan, is a uh, commission from, I'm um, just doing it again. The person who wants this one doesn't own the original one. But I checked with Brian and he said it was okay to kind of homage a blank that I already did. <laughs> um, And so, yeah, I'm, I'm recreating it and then updating, making adjustments, stuff like that. I hope your live stream went well, Lauren. I do have a fan going on because it's hot. I'm just sweating and uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh, Rob, oh my God, no. This is stressing me out so bad. I swear to God, it's the first thing I'm gonna do when I go off live. And if I if something happened, I'm gonna delete the video. Just giant heads up. <laughs> so enjoy while it lasts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've not drawn too many fingers. I just changed where I need to put it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, love. I really appreciate that, Lauren.
air conditioners were using up too much electricity, so we had to go around turning compressors off. Oh my god, that's rough. Sorry, John. Okay, so now this is the, the other side, other leg. up a little bit too high. I just need to try to get them somewhat in the same spot. So this is like this. Okay, this connector needs to go down a little bit. There we go. So there are buckles on the end of every single one of these and then the design on the top is so difficult. <laughs> what was I thinking? Was only 16 in Newfoundland. Wow, Todd. We have 40 ton air handlers. They tend to blow the power. Yeah, oh my god. King Sherlock uh, cornered the family for more, more food. Right now, he's not really all that hungry. I mean, he, he eats his meals and hounds me for his dinner, but um, he's really hot. So we're trying to encourage him to go down to the basement because the basement is super cool. It feels like it's air conditioned down there. So, um, Whenever I can't handle the heat anymore, I'll just go down into the basement for a little while and you'll cool off right away. Uh, otherwise, Sherlock will find him in sinks or on like cool tile or anything where the surface is cool. He's not sitting in any of his regular beds or chairs right now because they're too warm for him. <laughs> Poor baby, it's very hot. Are you going to bed, Griff the Fox? All right, see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> True, Rob. Oh, that is amazing, Savannah. I'm so happy for you. Oh, wow, Savannah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, her sword does not actually get thicker at the base. It thins out, so I need to erase some of that. Okay, it's going to be time to start erasing the, port the parts that I don't need anymore, and then just doing detail in where it's going to be seen. No point wasting time drawing what you don't need to draw, though I always draw through. So if I've got something in front of something else, like there's a sword here, right? And it's got a big kind of face area to it. And so I will always draw whatever needs to, whatever is underneath or behind something, I'll draw that all the way through and then just erase it later so that I know at least the visible parts are in the right place because sometimes if you try to draw around something it can get a little bit confusing and you can accidentally not have a limb start and end in the proper spot. <laughs> Hello Labris! <laughs> oh that's funny Rob. Okay you guys we're gonna just do a quick break for like two minutes and I will be right back. 
Gotta do this very carefully and cautiously. <laughs> careful, careful. Now there is no fear. <laughs> I am wearing shorts. <laughs> sometimes he may still be here uh, he sent me that for when I need to run and take a break <laughs> yeah <laughs> I put some shorts on now I feel better and safer <laughs> which one was the creepy looking joker Okay, now it's time to use the ruler. Don't anybody get offended. Okay, I'm gonna do 3.8 as the center line, 3.8. Nobody's trying to have a non-straight sword. Oh my goodness, it goes kind of like a banana at the bottom. <laughs> Oh my god, that was such a Janet laugh. Yeah, wow, it is off AF at the bottom. Check it out. Banana sword. Saeed, it's because on Twitch people are making jokes about measuring and shit. <laughs> banana sword goes with the banana gun. That's right. I'm very good at drawing bananas. Alright, so I want the sword to maybe have... Let's do... Three millimeters on either side? No, yeah. Three millimeters on either side. Okay, so we're doing three per side. Three. One, two, three. No, two. That's kind of a skinny sword. I need to. M migraines have been great, Philip. There's not as many summer summer storms going on right now. So I'm a happy girl, um, and I will be taking my treatment hopefully tonight if I remember. <laughs> I'm not very good at remembering to take care of myself. All right, let's get the center line drawn in for the sword, center line. So that is where it should be. The sword is at an angle, so technically this side should have a bit more to it. I'm probably going to do four millimeters, four millimeters on one side, 
and three on the other just to have it at an angle. Check it out, I did four millimeters just on the nose. Four millimeters. Four, what? Four millimeters, okay. We good, we good. Uh, yeah, Savannah, I have um, severe chronic migraines. I've had them my whole life. It's it's just, it is what it is. Um, but I'm on a uh, pain treatment, migraine treatment thing. It's a wonky skinny sword. <laughs> Ton would expect more to sword. <laughs> Lol. Maybe I'm going to take it a little bit wider at the top, thin it out towards the base. How much of this do I have left? Oh, okay, I'm good. Oh, thank you, Savannah. I'm sorry that you have to experience pain, too. That sucks. <laughs> you have one lady death blank, and you're so nervous to even touch it. Oh, no, Kevin. I'm sorry. You totally should. Hello, Gabriel. Yes, I am uh, live streaming on its opposite week because uh, it was my boy's birthdays. Very true, Savannah. This one has already really been helping though, thankfully. Tetro, Tetrogen, interesting. did not, Quan. Alex, hello and welcome to the stream. Rogerio, hello. Okay, so with the Lady Death sword that I'm drawing, it's, it's kind of a complicated one. And I want this to kind of be a little bit shorter. So it's going to be shorter on one side than the other because I'm trying to give the illusion that the sword is at an angle slightly. I have been having not artist block, but like drawing issues like I'm working on a Wonder Woman commission and I'm really struggling with it it's super weird like I drew so many layouts and I wasn't happy with any of them then I thought I was happy with one and now it's it just needs more work or I just need to start over I'm not sure
Interesting, Ernesto. Thank you. Oh, that's so true, Savannah. I've never, I've never gone to any um, pain management kind of groups or anything like that. That's interesting. Squad will take all the rejects. Aw, thank you, Philip. You're such a sweetheart. It went over, it probably did. Oh, I see. I was blocking Lauren's stream by switching days. Thank you for really dumbing it down for me. I'm sorry, I'm so dense. <laughs> Art blocking. I'm sorry, Lauren. <laughs> it's, I s promise, it's nothing personal. It's just my boys had their birthdays and my son turned 10 yesterday, so that's why I live stream today instead. It's all good. The dedicated attended both. Rob, thank you. All of you guys are the best. I know, right? <laughs> I know, soon I'm going to have another teenager in the house. It's intense, man. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. E. That means so much. Thank you. Thank you. It'll really suck if I like try to recreate my own art and I do it worse. That would be super embarrassing. I'm on the fence as to whether it's better right now, but I'm going to try to like bring at least some changes or improvement. That needs to come down a little bit more. Oh, so we're watching through all the Studio Ghibli's over dinner. 
and we've we've kind of been watching them in order of when they what date they came out um because our oldest son is very into movies and release dates and all that kind of stuff but uh because it was Lyndon, Lyndon's birthday yesterday, I think we went off book a little bit and started watching um, Ponyo. And it's so sweet. Now you're thinking the Lady Death outfit needs to be blue. <laughs> the banana sword really makes this piece. Why, thank you, Juan. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Steve. Mr. You guys are so kind, truly. I've really had a shitty artist week. You know, one of those few days. It, okay, I'll be honest. It's been really hard for me to, like, rub two minutes together to, to actually sit down and focus. I have not done that in days. Days, I'm telling you. <laughs> so there's that. That's my kind of excuse to keep myself from getting too bummed, but it happens. I'm not actually having a block where I can't think of what to do in your, your typical artist block situation, but I am struggling to focus maybe to, to get something that I'm happy with. Maybe I'm just in like a real picky pattern in my work right now and I'm just picking everything apart and I can't be happy with anything. I don't know what is what is going on. And it's one of those times where I just have to kind of push through it. And I, the reason why I'm sharing uh, is because I get asked that a lot. Do you have artist block? Do you have times where you struggle? Absolutely. Right the fuck now. <laughs> It's the massive Canada heat. <laughs> I think I created a block with wine once. Oh my God, you're amazing, Rob. Have your boys taken up drawing? My youngest has, my eldest not at all. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve. I appreciate that a ton. But I hope if anybody, you know, on here does draw and has moments where they're just, they, they feel like absolute trash as well. Um, I am absolutely not saying I am remotely one of the best, but it happens to the best of us and the worst of us and the all of us. Oh, 30 minutes. Thank you, Keeman. <laughs> Hello, John. Welcome to the stream. Honestly, don't even know what the dinner menu is for tonight. You remain quiet on time today? <laughs> what happened, Philip? I'm just doing sa sandwich, tuna sandwiches and seasoned french fries. 
Hanusol, your house sounds like like a, a fancy restaurant. The way that you cook for your boys is just, it's astounding. Joker Nato, hello and welcome to the stream. Did all your experimental pieces get snatched up already? I have s Christian from Facebook is trying to get a hold of some of them. I am not really feeling like anyone should see those. <laughs> Just, I, I know you guys are so kind and you're going to say kind things, but you know, there is some stuff that I draw that I just don't feel should be out in the wild and it should go in the bin. Exactly, Philip. So that's why I'm so grateful for you reminding me of the time. Looks like Keeman's taken up the, the, the torch for today. Had breakfast for dinner tonight because breakfast food is always good. Agreed. See you later, John. Thanks so much for sticking with us for so long and have a good night. Okay, so there is in the center bottom kind of base area, there's a skull and I'm going to have to warp this and bend it. I have to warp it over her leg and, you know, make it rotate and bend and all of that stuff and try to keep all of these design elements on perspective. You need 30 minutes of plum wine and snacks for yourself. Right, Philip? I think that is exactly what I need. <laughs> oh my god, Hanusol. <laughs> Way to take the most innocent thing and spin it. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry that you're having a rough go on Twitch. Bummer! <laughs> You're the best, Hanu Soul. You still love the Ivy. Well, Wayne, I think, claimed the Ivy, and that was the only one worth going anywhere. <laughs> Hello, Snow! Welcome to today's stream. It's good to see you. And yes, I'm wearing blue and it's a dress. It's like double weirdness. Okay. Now I need there to be a buckle. God, I don't know how I had the patience for all of this before. There's a buckle here that connects onto here, which makes it like a garter. Same situation on the other side, unfortunately. All right, and then there's buckles all over the place. Saeed, sorry about that. It's 7.38 my time. Julie Sosa, thank you. <laughs> okay, 
so this goes here. Dun, 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 dun. I've got all these uh, directional lines just so that I keep everything curving over her thigh properly. And I'm going to move some shit. Uh, last time I didn't do it like this, but I, I think it's going to look better. So I am going to make some adjustments onto the outfit so that it works better, in my opinion. I know, it's so buffly. What on earth? <laughs> Sorry, Juan. Are, is everyone having some trouble with Twitch as far as lags and stuff? It could be the heat here. Let me uh, open Twitch on my computer. I want to anyway because I need to... Um, I want to raid somebody before we, we go. You haven't noticed any lag. Okay, well that's great. And thanks so much for all of you being here. We have 52 people here right now. Woo! Um, I think... Yeah, so we'll just need to decide who we're going to raid today. Uh, but that's not for a few more minutes, so we will carry on. You always have a hard time with Twitch. Sorry, Savannah. Sounds like a, a personal problem. Yeah, my daughter is always telling me that. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> I'm still, I'm so grateful though to everybody that's also on Facebook because Facebook is not really intended for longer live streaming. I think it's more of a short stream, you know, up to 10 minutes kind of thing. Not really for like super long three hour marathons that we go on. Um, so thank you all for sticking it out. <laughs> So this goes on top of the band going across. And we're going to squishy the booby over there. Her bra attaches onto her neck collar, as does the cape. So I'm going to start erasing some of the lines that I no longer need and cleaning it up a little bit because I've definitely gone quite messy on this. And I don't need to make it very clean because, you know, I'm inking it myself, so I can kind of final draw and ink all at the same time. Juan defected to Facebook. What? All right, I missed a few uh, people. A bunch of clowns on Twitch anyway needs more squirrels. <laughs> oh, thank you, Safizo. That's hilarious. Raid Lady Death's panties. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Saeed. Stream games on Facebook for hours on end. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, David. Six hours. Okay, so yeah, it happens. I was unaware. It's good that you have tons of work. Snow, are you still in Japan? You got tired of the horrible mods on Twitch? Mr. E, Juan is complaining. And I'm a tattletale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got some funny ones on here. <laughs> you guys are the best. Okay, this is a skull here. Skull. 
And then there's like some giant tusks or fangs on either side, so I'm getting that going on. Tusks and fangs, then there's a skull situation, and then this is really complicated, the way that this works. Okay, so it loops around, loops, and then goes here. I've always really had a hard time with this sword. It's super cool, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about the design, it's just I can't figure it out for the life of me. So every time I draw it, which is a lot, mind you, I should know it by now, I still struggle every time. <laughs> Quan is complaining. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm complaining too, it's true. I really shouldn't be ratting out Juan when I'm just over here bitching my ass off. <laughs> Good times. Okay, and then it's, there's a kind of a big mark on the, the skull. And then it just, there's like lines that sort of radiate, radiate out from the, the center of the sword. They're like ridges. Think kind of lightning-esque ridges. So those are easy. That I have figured out. Go me. <laughs> oh my god, Quan. Mystery says, complaining just adds more time to the commission list. Juan did not get that memo, I guess. <laughs> Lol. Okay, I may actually move that knuckle to about right there. I don't know, I'm still moving the knuckles around and trying to decide. Focused on, stick with the program, it's skull time. Okay, and then the eyes. Right, he's got a pretty big forehead because he's got that big old thingy in the middle of his forehead. All right, and then the nose. And then he's got kind of like tusks on either side here. So I'm putting those in and then like really lots of teeth very long jaw on this um skull something kind of like that some ridges and de designs in there and then this goes that's a little bit closer into the skull so i need to move that in a little bit and then there's a break in the sword right there and another break in the sword right here so that's a hole all in there <laughs> oh boy Juan says I'm not complaining about Dawn I'm complaining off all the rules Mr. E has for us lol You just posted what you were working on into Boop Squad. Woohoo, Devin! Let me see if I can get to Boop Squad real quick. Uh, how do I get there? Yes, here we go. Uh, groups. Sorry, everyone. Just a second. I'm looking at what Devin posted. I really need to get my can of worms off the top of the page, and I unpinned it, and it's still pinned. I have no idea. Oh, hello, Kenneth. Thank you so much. Welcome to the stream. Tell Juan rules are meant to be broken, duh. That's what Mr. E says, Juan. Okay, I need to stop being the go-between in your guys' argument. <laughs> Where is it, Devin? I don't see it think that things are strange. Wow, we're up to 592 members. Go you guys. Francine Francine, though, has posted a gorgeous Wonder Woman. 
Yeah, uh, it's not showing up for me yet, Devin. Boomer. Wildstorm! Hello, hello! You want the link too for um, Boop Squad? Let me see how to get that. Uh, if you, you're in my art page, so in my art page, Art of Don McTagg, I have a group. Um, I, okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so in my page, there is uh, groups. And in there, there is a group called Super Boop Squad. And it's a place for people to post their artwork. So you can go in there and see um, anyone's artwork who is part of the group. And it's where I can see your work. So please post your artwork in there. I would love to see it. I saw that came in. It was nice to see some of your work up there too. Yeah, I go online to play telephone between Mystery and Juan and their arguments. <laughs> Cause it's the best. You're welcome, Ernesto. Rob is the best. Thank you so much, Rob. Ooh, 10 minutes left. Well, you know what guys? I'm so happy that at least some of this is done. I will be live streaming again on Friday. Remember, this is opposite week. Um, I'm going to live stream again on Friday to do the inks of this one and then probably live stream again on Sunday to do the colors. And then this one will be finished and hopefully over the course of these next few days, Eric's original art will arrive so that I can actually transfer my Morgana sketch to final board. I will do that with you guys live. Um, also, I'm hoping that I can have some sort of mental breakthrough on the Wonder Woman and actually get that done. So um, while I'm waiting for all these other things to kind of sort themselves out, I'm uh, working on this. If I manage to sort out my nonsense with everything else, then I will um, do some switcheroozy roos. <laughs> You fixed it. Okay, Devin. Let's take a looky loo. Oh my God, that is so cool. Bonus wallpapers. I had this idea for the first four Divinica covers in which I could make a collage, a collage like piece of the various cover arts. I hope you like what I did. Devin, you're so creative. That is so freaking cool. Wow. That is really awesome, Devin. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. That must have been a pain in the ass to do. Respect. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have the patience for that. I know, Saeed. I'm hoping so as well. <laughs> uh, since we're just past mid-year, how's your live stream pace for your year-end goal? Oh, you know what, Gabriel? I think I'm doing pretty good. See you later, Jeff. Have a good evening. Lots of love to Lori. Let me check on my Excel sheet where I keep my stats. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I'm probably, because I haven't like been missing weekend streams to be at a convention, I'm probably doing pretty good. Let me see. Um, <laughs> oh yes, no, this is the right year. Okay, I am at 79 live streams, not counting last week, so I'm at 81. And it is just past mid-year, right? So, booyah. <laughs> 81 live streams so far. <laughs> it does, a little bit, Saeed. Yeah, I'm ahead of schedule. My goal is 100 a year. 100 live streams per year. So I could uh, just check out for, you know, the last few months, but I won't do that. 
too much fun to shoot the shit with you guys. <laughs> Alrighty. It is time for me to raid someone. So let's go raid somebody. <laughs> I think you can get 19 more. Go for 150. Yeah, let's just go for the most as I can do, right? New goal. Yes. It is easier because I do have, you know, the weekend, I'm, boh, I can't English. I told you guys my brain was going to start malfunctioning. I will, uh, I don't have to go to cons, so of course it's a whole lot easier. <laughs> right, Devin? Okay, my dear wonderful friends, I need to get out the Dawn Diaries by this evening, hopefully, at some point. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my email list, please do so, it would be amazing to have you there. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out and dealing with my kind of random flip-flopping between projects over the last little while. Um, I really appreciate it. I know, right? <laughs> I love you guys, you are the best. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Aww. Yes, I will get the diaries out very soon. Um, let's see. Let's go raid Ox... Ox... Coxa. It's been a while. Oops. Alright. Let's go say hi to Ox... Or Cox, I think, is what she wants us to call her. <laughs> Either way, let's go raid, show lots of love, and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you for everything. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.